That said, they are also quick learners. You know, you often think of reptiles and particularly turtles perhaps as a bit slow and uh, dim-witted, but we're learning a lot more about the complexities of their social interactions. And it is obvious that they can learn very quickly. If you're interested in getting a more okay, yeah. clearer color, so of course all the little I've got a much soil. sort of blacker, bluer one. He's just hiding in my sleeve uh, right now. But. Yeah, that one there. So we can look at some differences in head shape mm -hmm. and body proportions um, are definitely giveaways. Although the blue yeah. spots here also have quite a few um, yeah. yellow markings, which haven't opened up the leaves quite yet. And so there are some that are very young, and so they of course are small, but. I mean, they, they grow so incredibly quickly here. And so there's one live one still trapped in the picture there. And the, one of them has died now. Um, and we, we took it out because we're doing a specific study in which we're interested in seeing how the plants are allocating nutrients. So essentially, um, you know, these salamanders are a huge nutritional boom for a plant that otherwise is getting, just subsisting off very meager portions, and then all of a sudden they get this. So we want to know, for instance, are they producing more seeds? Yeah, we have a lot of questions right now about uh, plant size and how can nutrient allocation related to those that are happening. But often when they die, they sink down into the stem. No, this one and this one here have both caught a salamander this year. And the one picture last year on this plant that caught a salamander, it's since the pitchers died. And, and of course, this isn't the only plant. So, depending where you feed the food web, um, you have different structures of isotopes. 